Hey kids, welcome to lesson 12, loops and simulations. Number one, starting small. To start, we're going to simulate flipping a coin 10 times. You might be thinking, that isn't that many coin flips, and we could just do those coin flips in real life. But this is actually an important step in developing a simulation. At small scales, we can make sure our code is working as intended because we can still visually confirm its outputs. Once we're convinced that the logic of our program is reliable, we'll move up to simulating larger numbers of flips. The core logic of our program will be focused on a while loop that simulates flipping a coin by repeatedly generating random zeros or ones using random number. This is a great opportunity to keep practicing using loops while applying your knowledge of variables, iterations, and if statements. What are iterations? Iterations really are just something that gets repeated in a specific sequence until some kind of condition is met. A true or false statement is a great example of this. We have a do this. When we want to flip a coin with a computer, we instead are just going to generate a random number between 0 and 1, heads or tails. Write a program that uses a while loop to flip a coin 10 times and writes the value of each flip to the screen. The example below shows you how your program should run. Hint, you will need to use a counter variable in your while loop to keep track of how many times the coin has been flipped. Looks like we have a little example down here, and it's just flashing ones and zeros as we go down. Looking down here, we have no code, but do not worry. We are gonna work this together. Well, what are we going to need to do? Let's look back up here. I know we need to do a random number between 0 and 1. I know I need a program with a while loop in it, and it's going to do something for 10 times. We also want to write that to the screen. And I need a counter with a variable in it. And that is going to do something inside of my while loop. This is actually a lot of hints right here. Working off this, let's try to develop some code. Well, the first thing I need is a variable, the number of times it's flipped. I'm gonna call mine variable, we'll just go with sim num for simulation number. We are going to set this to zero initially. So that right there is going to be my counter eventually. Now I need some sort of while loop. While, while what? Well, while this sim number is less than 10, we want to keep flipping. Why? Again, the coin flip is for 10 times. So we want to run whatever simulation we do 10 times. So that's going to be my while loop. As long as this sim number right here is below 10, we're going to keep doing what we need to do. Well, what do we need to do? Well, we need another variable, and this is going to be my flip. And my flip is going to be my heads or tail. And that is just going to be a random number and what's that random number? Zero and one. In this while loop I have here, I'm gonna have another variable called flip, which is all flip is gonna be is just a random number between zero and one. Why do I wanna put a variable there? Well, I need to write something onto that screen. And the easiest thing to write is just flip. Whatever this random number is, it is going to be flip, and then flip will be written on the screen. If you remember back to our lesson 11, we have to add one every time we go through this loop. Otherwise, it will repeat forever. We need to add something to our sim number. We could do sim equals sim num plus one, or we can use our shorthand from last lesson and just do sim num plus plus. Right there, I have my brace to close it all out to contain my while loop. 
Looking back here again, I created a variable simnum, which is set to zero. This is going to be the number of simulations I run. While simnum is less than 10, we're going to keep doing something. Well, let's add something. We're going to flip, and flip is just a random number between zero and one. So it's going to pick zero or one just randomly. I want to write that flip over here. And then before I go back to my loop, I want to increase simnum one. So this number will go up one, then two, then three. And then when it gets to 10, it should stop. Well, I think this sounds like it makes sense in my head. Let's go ahead and see if it actually works. We ran, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 numbers. Let's see if they're actually random though. Looks pretty random to me. Looks pretty good. Our code is doing 10 random numbers, one and zero. Think of this as heads and tails. Looking back here to our do this, we want to generate an output with random numbers between one and zero, and we did. We did this using a while loop with a counter that goes up to 10. And we had a variable that increased that number every time it went through. More importantly, our output looks exactly like the example. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.